Hey guys, it's me, Diana. I don't even remember the last time that I said that. It's been a while since I made a YouTube video and I'm so sorry. If I had a dollar for every single time I said that, I'd probably have five dollars, but I mean, hey, it's something, right? So today's video is going to be a March favorites video. I just thought, you know what, why not? It's April 2nd. I'm to show you guys what I've been loving, especially since I haven't made a video like this in about a year. So I really wanted to sit down, talk to you guys, show you guys what I'm loving, and then if you guys want, in the comment section down below when you're done watching this movie, let me know your thoughts on some of the products that I'm going to mention, and let me know things that you guys have been loving too, just so I could, you know, get back in the game, because I've been out of the YouTube game for a little while, and I don't know shit about beauty anymore, I guess. I don't know. But let me know everything down below once you're done watching the video and liking it, of course. So so I am going to start with beauty products and then go down to fashion and then just other random stuff that I've been loving. So recently, as I've been getting older, I'm 23 now, um, I've been realizing my face is getting much more oilier. I used to be just like a combo, you know, nothing was really going on with my face, but now I've been noticing I've just been getting a lot more oilier in my T-zone area. area, area. I don't know if that's just a Filipino thing or an Asian thing, but you know. That's been happening, and instead of just packing on more powder to mattify it, all I've been doing is using this proactive blotting papers. I got this a long time ago at Generation Beauty, I believe. But yeah, you just take one of these out, and it looks like this. It's actually a really long paper, and you just pat it on yourself. I just did my makeup, so I don't know if anything will happen. But you just pat it all around your face and then there's supposed to be like a huge oil spot and I'll do that at the end of the day just keep this in my purse I know it's a little bit dirty right now and it's disgusting but when I'm at work or something especially because I'm running around or something I just pull it out and do it really quick and it's very very helpful a lot of people say that I'm really good at doing my eyeliner and I've noticed throughout the years um, I, I did learn how to do my eyeliner better because it's just trial and error and then you just learn and it just becomes like second nature you know what I mean so I did get really good with my eyeliner and then I stopped doing eyeliner for a little while maybe like a week I just lined my eyes without doing the wing and then I started doing the wing again and I feel like an infant learning how to walk like I'm learning how to do it all over again I don't know if my eyeliner is messed up in this video or anything hopefully my bangs like can cover it this one might be a little bit wonky <laughs> if you guys know I used to use Milani a long 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 time ago and then I started using L'Oreal I went back to Milani because I saw it at the Walmart that I actually live near and it's way cheaper than a regular drug store. I think a regular drugstore for Milani is like nine bucks, but this one was like six dollars. So I was like, of course I'm going to try it. So I tried it and of course I love it all over again. If you guys don't know, I actually heard of this through Claire Marshall from Hey Claire. We hung out a long, long time ago and I became obsessed with it because of her. So thanks Claire. But it is called the iTech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner, and it is, like, so exact. Like, it's a little, I mean, it's not flimsy, it moves, obviously, but it's more of a stiff applicator. But I have it in the blackest black, like, meh, like that pretty good. I like it a lot. Recently I've been loving more of the awake look where you're just brightened up around the eyes. I didn't do it too much today, just more underneath my eyebrow. None in my inner corner because I wanted to show you this product. So I got this at Generation Beauty last year, but it's from Pixie and it's called the Wide Awake Crayon Combo. And it's just two little crayons, well, not crayons, like eyeliner pencil sticks. Um, one is more of like a peachy color, and this one is said to brighten the eye. This one I would put underneath my eyebrow just like this. I'm not wearing it today. I probably should have done it when I did my makeup. But I would put this underneath my eyebrow, and it not only brightens up the look, but it also, you know, gives your eyebrow a really great shape, cleans it up a little bit. So I like that a lot. And then on this side, this is the lighten side, and it's just a little bit more shimmery, as you can see. And this one, I would put on my inner corner, just right there. Maybe I can use my phone. <laughs> oh yeah, I have my, my septum out too. Did you guys notice? I got my septum pierced. 
I'm gonna do an updated piercings video. So I will answer any questions you have about it in that video. But if you have any questions, ask them down below so I know what you want to ask. Sorry if it's not clean enough because I don't have a mirror, but that's basically just the point. But it just opens up your eyes a little bit more and makes you look more awake. Next are my makeup removers that I've been loving. And if you guys know, I always get the CVS brand um, just because it's so much easier. I live near a CVS, but I live closer to a Walmart, and Walmart is so much cheaper. And I found these Equate Beauty makeup removers, and it says compared to Neutrogena, which they all say, you know, especially when it's one of these cheaper um, versions. But I love this. I love it so much. It was about $4, I believe. It has a plastic seal so it could stay secure inside it. It doesn't dry out. Sometimes I find with the plastic stickers, I don't seal it good enough or the adhesive tends to strip away. So it's just like harder to keep it moist on the Oh, I hate that word. Isn't that weird that most girls hate that word? I should stop using that word hate. I dislike the word moist. Ooh. And it's good quality makeup removers, and it comes with a lot too, so I really like this. I got this a long time ago, and I still have it, so equate. You guys should try this if you have a Walmart near you. Next is a scent that I have been loving recently, and it is Moonlight Path from Bath & Body Works. And now, I swear to you, every time someone smells this smell, they're like, Diana, you smell like that. And it's just like... Oh my gosh, I've always wanted someone to say that I have a smell. I don't know what my smell is. And now when people smell this, like go through the workplace or go through the apartment like my roommate or I'm hanging out with my friends, they're just like, oh my gosh, it smells like you. And I'm like, yay. I'm so excited. I bring this whole thing around with me. And every time I go to Bath and Body Works and there's a sale, I always get the buy three, get three free. I swear to you, I'll get three of these and then get like the body wash and maybe two more of these. It's more of like a musky female scent, and it's beautiful. Loves it. I keep doing like this today. I don't know why. That's not my new thing. Please don't do that. Please don't do that because of me. And don't. that is it for all of my beauty stuff. Now I'm going to go more towards the fashion and just things that I like. One thing that I've been loving recently, I believe I got this in the beginning of March, end of February. It was this case that I got from Casetify. And if you don't know what Casetify is, it's basically a website where you can create your own case. And they contacted me and wanted me to review it for them. But I didn't really want to make my case. That's not something that I'm really into, you know, like pictures of myself or my friends on my phone. I love you guys, but not enough for you to be there 24-7. That's why we hang out on the weekend. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So I wanted something that was more my personality, more my style, and I believe that this is. I was wanting to get something very simple and just like a black or a white mandala, but I saw this and like the jade color and the different hues of blue and purple and, and green. I just fell in love. So this is what it looks like. I'll post the link down below. Um... I, if I find it, I'm pretty sure I will, but I absolutely love it. They have so many different styles like this too. If I have a code too, I'll post it down below. I'm not too sure, but yeah, go to their websites, casetify.com. And if you guys are into making cases like with your face on it or your dog or whatever, then that's perfect for you, but not for me. <laughs> Next is my camera. I absolutely love this camera. Um, if you guys don't know, I stopped making videos for a really long time and partially because I did not have a camera or a laptop. And the reasoning behind that is someone went crazy and broke my stuff, but we're over that. We're past that. It's okay. Life goes on. This camera I have been loving so much. It is the Canon PowerShot ELF 340HS. This is usually just used for my vlogs. I'm still saving up money for a normal camera, which I will be getting really soon. I just have to choose between camera, Hawaii, and Vegas trip or tattoos. I haven't chosen yet because either one of those would make me happy. Um, I mean, eventually I'll have all three, but it's like, which one should I do first? Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh, my camera. I love it. There's great quality. Um, if you guys have been watching my vlogs, a lot of you have been asking what camera I use. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. I mean, I do. I always love Canon. Canon's great. I really wanted to get the Canon 110 
10? Why did I say 10 like that? Ever since I first started watching Forrest Gump, which has become like a weekly thing for me, I started talking like him, I'm sorry, but the 110 is the one that I wanted, but I heard it's discontinued, so when I went to Best Buy, they didn't have it. The only place you can really get it is like, I don't know. Amazon. Next is a rug that I actually bought at Ross for $10. I'll show a clip right here. I'm so obsessed with it. I always wanted like a furry rug or a paper rug like this. And when I saw it at Ross, um, I, it was actually buried underneath like the colors of the rainbow. There was like hot pink, green, purple. And I was like, ew, 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 ew. And I think someone hid it underneath that. And I found it and it was the last one. And I grabbed it and I ran and I bought it. And I love it because I could put things on it and take pictures of it, you know what I mean? Like I will be doing throughout this video. So you already saw it already. Isn't it great? I love it. Except my hair gets stuck in it a lot. It's kind of nasty. So sorry if you got some clips with hair in it. <laughs> Next, I have been loving kimonos, and I already know that kimonos have been in, so I'm not like, you know, way far behind. I've been loving kimonos for a really long time. It's just that now that I could talk about it on a video, I want to show you guys the kimonos that I've been loving. And if you guys actually want to see a kimono collection, comment down below. So maybe I won't show you all the kimonos I'll have, just a few. Maybe just this one. This one right here I have been loving recently. I got it at Ross and it's beautiful. It's just this black lace and I think it's perfect for someone like me. Like I love wearing black and when I do wear those like you know just like a jean and white shirt combo like I feel like putting this on just makes it a little bit more toned down. I showed it to my roommate and she told me like that's so you and I was like I know. I like this video if you actually want to see a kimono. Oh. Mina N. Brown just favorited me on Twitter. Oh, oh, <laughs> damn, thank you. <laughs> Let me put this on silent. Like this video and I'll record all of my favorite kimonos or all the kimonos that I have because I have a great collection and I'll tell you guys where I got them and everything. All right, I am going to talk about two more things. First being music, okay, and this. I guess I'm talking about three things. But this is a Bluetooth speaker that I actually got at Ross. It was about ten dollars i believe it's not the greatest on battery life but i mean i love it because i'm so sick and tired of just this little speaker on my iphone 6. i go to the pool and i play it play some drake really loud love and drake's album by the way ah oh, drake i got enemies got a lot of enemies he knew it he knew it he knew me when he made that song but anyway <laughs> Um, yeah, I've been listening to a lot of music on this by The Pool. It's Polaroid, too, so I really like it. And secondly, I've been loving Spotify so much. My sister got me Spotify for Christmas, paid the whole entire year for me. Love her for that. I've been pl playing so much music. I've been finding new music, and it's so great. If you guys don't have Spotify, you should get it. You, you don't even have to pay for it monthly. I believe she pays $10 a month, but... Um, it's great. I think you should get Spotify. It's just so much better than Pandora. Um, you can choose actual people, you know, they pick the song, but then when you buy it and pay for it, you can choose just whatever you want. You get everything, like new albums and everything. Rihanna didn't post that song, by the way. Did you guys know that? She didn't post that song on Spotify, and I got so pissed off, so I bought it. Let me just play a little bit if you guys haven't heard it yet. Yeah, yo. Yeah, yo. Yeah, yo. But yeah, the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is a TV show. And I think I'm going to do this every single month, every single favorites video. I want to talk to you guys about a TV show that I just watched because I find myself constantly watching TV shows, like new ones here, there, everywhere. What am I, a Dr. Seuss book? Oh my God. <laughs> and so the most recent one that I have finished well, not the most recent one. I've already finished a TV show since then, but it is Bloodline. And if you guys have a Netflix account, then it is on there and you guys need to watch it. It's about a family in the Keys and it's just crazy. Like the storyline, sorry, I kicked this by accident. Um, it's a great storyline. It starts off a certain way and you have like a preconceived notion of what it's going to be about, but then it switches it up and it's just completely different and it's brilliant 
it. You guys need to watch it. I recommend it to everybody. I finished it in about three days, I think. If you guys watch my vlogs, then you guys know. I mean, I'm sure you guys watch my vlogs if you watch this video because I post my vlogs on this channel. Oh, and I wanted to say this too, just in case anyone asks me. The lipstick that I am wearing, I've been loving this. It's from Revlon Rose Velvet. It's something that I believe is my favorite lipstick, most likely. Yeah, not my favorite lip product though. I'll tell you guys what my favorite lip product is soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <sighs> I just, I've missed making videos. I'm so happy that I'm back on it. I'm so happy about this. So don't worry, I am not gonna go away. Okay guys, I promise you. Pinky promise. Let's pinky promise through the screen really quick. If you guys wanna see anything else, comment down below. I'll post whatever the heck you want. Wait, wait, not whatever. Honestly, that's not the truth because that would be very awkward if you guys ask for like sexual things or just really weird things. So please don't ask that. But I will post all of my information right over here for you guys so you can follow me. This is my Instagram and my Twitter. And then this is my most recent vlog. So go ahead and press that little video. If I don't add a button, I'm sorry. Press the link down below or go through my videos. I might just be super lazy and not put anything. But don't forget to subscribe. We can be lazy together. Yay. Bye.